Okay, you two. Todd here, some guitar guy. Clearly, this is not a guitar. This is my new Scoot. Uh, this is a uh, 2006 Suzuki Boulevard S40. Um, got it a couple of weeks ago. Have chased a couple of gremlins, running gremlins uh, in it really from the start involving uh this guy uh the uh the fuel valve or pet cock or fuel cock tell it kind of looks new it is that's actually a yamaha raptor 660 pet cock the um, suzuki unit was vacuum operated and um, they all failed uh, and mine did too and it's causing an overly rich condition Gonna get to that, kind of do the walk around. Uh, this was a two owner, two owner bike, um, adult owned and ridden, garaged, local. Uh, probably gonna get some goo gone or something and get rid of that cheesy sticker. Um, you can see. It's uh, all that soot, carbon soot on the brake arm. I apologize for the traffic noise. Um, that was uh, part of the culprit. The uh, new IRC rubber. The story with that, too. I wanted to go with wide white walls. Um, it actually got a really good deal on a set of RCs. They still had the original tires. The, uh, the uh, back tire was worn, needed replaced. Um, came with it in addition to the Suzuki uh, uh, windscreen. I don't know if you can really see them back in there, but the saddlebag supports came with uh, the saddlebags. These are not Suzuki's. These are Red River, I believe. Uh, I had to modify them uh, to get around the, uh, the rectifier under the passenger seat. Uh, big let me see my reflection uh but it, show you the single this is a 650 i mean and i'm not going to touch it because it's uh it's really hot but i mean look at the scale of that thing that is a massive uh massive cylinder um but what happened with the pet cock it actually picked up um picked up a uh, vacuum where's my port oh yeah right here you see I have it capped off and there was no off position on the switch off was turning the engine off uh, but what happened over time that diaphragm leaked and would rupture and would suck raw gas right here and that's the pivot for the butterfly and just dump raw fuel into the uh, into the intake you kind of see the result Got the gold first, the soot back there. It was hard to start, had fouled probably what was the original plug. It only had uh, like 5,400 like 54, 5, miles on it. Now, and you see I've put a few hundred on it myself. Um, actually, probably a good many, considering no longer than I've had it. But, uh, they all do this. Uh, also came with, in addition to the saddlebags, the uh, tender connection and a charger, uh, a couple of uh, open face helmets. Um, had the original rubber on the front too, which was uh, actually in really good shape, um, but was showing some uh, some dry rot on the. Uh, on the side walls there. So I just went ahead with, uh, went ahead and replaced the set. Uh, RCs are not uh, Michelin's or Metzler's or, uh, but they're decent, decent middle grade tires. Um, but the fix, of course, was to, uh, you can either go back with a, OEM Suzuki unit, which was about three times the price of this Yamaha, and somebody on the Suzuki Savage forums figured 
uh, I figured out this is a direct bolt up. You block off the vacuum plug and now you have an off and you keep the re um, keep the reserve. And it's also that uh, OEM Petcock was a big pain to get to get uh, the tank off. It would catch on the uh, on the cylinder. Uh, other upgrades so far, not really a whole lot. Um, did replace the battery. Uh, it was questionable. Probably would have been okay, but it was questionable. So it picked up a uh, Duracell spill-proof battery. So uh, it's 15% more uh, cold cranking amps, and you get to lose the vent tube, which is uh, which is good. The petcock um, actually figured a way how to bypass this guy. I'll probably do another video for kind of a quick fix. Uh, waiting on this one to arrive. Um, mounted the saddlebags. They came with it. Um, what else have I done? Um, it's got a, uh, a crank full of um, Redline 10W40 motorcycle lube. Uh, yeah, it's leaning over. You can't really see it down in the sight glass. Um, Let's see. Oh, a Canon drop-in air filter here. It's also got a Canon oil filter here. I don't know. If that's really necessary. That's just all that was uh, all that was available on the Cycle World site. Um, and just did some uh, tuning on the carburetor. Uh, one of the tricks to this thing, the uh, the blade screw, not the Phillips head, but directly above the uh, axle there for the butterfly. Right here, I'm gonna burn my hand. Um, is the uh, auto mix screw. And from the factory, it comes with a uh, brass cap inserted in there so you can't mess with it. Um, I noticed this one was, uh, this one had already been drilled out. Uh, and then noticed, too, didn't really realize that that's a, uh, that's a genuine Harley Donna um, slip-on. It's not the uh, the factory exhaust, and I kind of wondered why it sounded or why people were, um, you know, saying to do this. But it sounds really good. Um, I've heard uh, I've heard the uh, heard ones on the uh, the internet with the uh, the factory pipe, and eh, yeah, they do leave a little bit to be desired, but. Anyway, probably not the guy I bought it from who was 70, um, but maybe the original owner. Must have done some tuning. Uh, I've done some on it. I actually leaned it out a little bit. thought I would have to enrichen uh, it uh, since I put a better flowing uh, filter in it. But uh, leaned it out a little bit. Uh, not much. I mean, maybe a half turn. Uh, maybe only a quarter turn. Wasn't much at all. Um, just did some some uh, roll-ons from 30 and 40 in top gear. Uh, so the, the main jet seems to be spot on. So I don't really see a reason to uh, monkey around anymore with the, uh, with the carb. That was uh, one thing on the forums that uh, when I described and it, and it eventually got to a no start condition. Uh, because it would foul the plug because it's dumping raw fuel in right there. Um, but that was uh, one of the diagnoses was pull the car, clean it, jet it, so on and so forth. And it, uh, it really just turned out to be that, uh, that bad uh, failed petcock. So we'll start it up, give you a, uh, give you a uh, taste. I do hear the cam chain at times. So that is um, the next project. This is gonna be hard to do holding my two hands.
so loud. Um, looked at may, maybe upgrade, upgrading with the, the visors, the chrome visors over the uh, headlight and signals. I think they look pretty cool. Uh, auxiliary lights would look even better. Um, and there's, you know, there's different, uh, you know, people have different tastes. I think the, uh, the windscreen and the, um, and the saddlebags, uh, it's a small little windscreen, uh, but I think they're, they're tasteful and to scale. So I think they give the bike a little bit of girth. Didn't have to relocate the turn signals or anything. Uh, not to mention the bags give me really convenient storage. Um, but it's uh, it's not a big bike, so I think you know you could easily overwhelm it with a big, huge windscreen, or I don't know that you could get really much bigger than than those uh, bags. And I have priced. That's another upgrade for the future. The uh, the backrest, passenger backrest, and uh, luggage rack that comes out mainly for looks. You can't do uh, put too much on it, but I think that'll, uh, you know, that'll kind of finish off her, her tail end a little bit. Um, kind of got that soft tail, semi soft tail type flare. Um, but uh, I do ride two up sometimes, and that's this is uh, this is not real big. This pillion just for scale. Um, so a little backrest back here would uh, would help. I wish Suzuki wouldn't have done that. It just put the name up there on the seat that would have been uh, not nearly as cheap looking um, when this set of rubber wears out which well, will probably be uh, I don't know maybe I'll get 5,000 miles again out of that rear but I do want to go with uh, the uh, wide white walls and I think that'll uh, That'll really set the bike off. I've seen seen pictures of them, uh, and they do really make them look uh, retro. So I guess that's really really about it. Um, low mileage bike, two owner, adult ridden, and then turned out the uh, the seller knew a uh, knew my cousin. Uh, who's who's since passed away i thought that was small world uh small world category um but um yeah i think it's uh it's a great little bike it's very torquey uh i think it sounds really good with that dyna pipe in there uh the K&N, I i don't know that i actually get any benefit from that um I think the benefit maybe is over the over the hall of the filters live where the K and M keeps keeps flowing uh, compared to the paper filters that clog up. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm really uh, really pleased with it. I checked uh, doing a little experiment on fuel mileage with uh, E10 versus uh, pure gas E0, and I think it was 50. Is it, or maybe it was 56 miles per gallon I got. And I ride conservatively. Um, but, um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, let me know what you think. Probably going to do a ride. May try to do a video tomorrow uh, that I'll probably have to overdub the, uh, the audio on. Uh, but we'll, uh, I guess I'll see, see how that goes. But anyway, and as far as the bike thing... Uh, I don't know where these videos, if I'm going to end up with another channel or moving them back to my other channel or, but to me, I don't know, music and bikes or guitars and bikes kind of go together. So, uh, I guess we'll see, but, uh, yeah. Oh, when the, uh, the name Stellanor is her name, uh, and that's kind of a play on, uh, one of my daughter's names and uh the stella guitar she you know any blues history that's one of the brands uh robert johnson favored so this is uh this is stellanor
so in all her glory. And that color, I haven't seen many in this color. Let me just try to get a little close up of that. That is Euclid's silver. So you can see a little bit of flake in it. Um, and then of course I did that above the uh, above the uh, fuel cap, trying to get the tank on. Um, but I haven't seen many of this color. I've seen the other colors, and I, I think this is actually the only one I've seen, either riding around or for sale or on the forums. I'm sure it's not the only bike, and it's getting dirty. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think if you if you have a uh, S40 or Savage, uh, all the same bike, LS650, uh, and uh, look forward to some rides. Thanks, guys.